Oh, hey, Jeff. Where are we going this weekend? Hachi Kamoko. Marshmallows and cocoa? <laughs> Hachi Kamoko. Match sticks and mocha? Hachi Kamoko. Wait, matching kimonos? <laughs> Machi Kamoko. All right, guys, here we are. Woo, Machikamo State Park. Yes. Okay, walking up on our campsite here. Machikamoko. <laughs> I think I said it right. Jeff is up here relaxing at the campfire. It's very nice, peaceful. We are really enjoying it. Yeah. All right, here we are at Machi Komoko or Machi Komoka. I guess you can pronounce it either way. <laughs> We're here at our campsite and we are in this little campground. It's a very small campground. It's beautiful though. Uh, it's about 26 sites. There's some yurts over there. And let's go zoom into those three yurts over there. Over here across the way are a bunch of tent sites. There's the bathhouse. Just a short walk from our site, 23. And here's our site. It's a pull through. We got all this space. This is what I like about the Virginia State Parks. They're all the ones we've been to. We've been to about five or six of them so far. And over the last three years. And they're all spacious. You got you got your own space. You're not all crammed up like some of these commercial sites. Um, so, we like it. This structure represents the common Algonquian longhouse. It's something that Chief Powhatan could have used. It was commonly built using bent saplings for the frame and woven reed mats to cover it. Just sitting here enjoying this view over here by the Timbernick House here at Machi Kamaka. Machi Kamoko? Machi Kamoka State Park in Virginia. And I'm sitting here under this big old tree. I want to say it's an oak tree, but I don't know for sure. But I am over here. It's a cool breeze. Cool breeze blowing through here. I'm just sitting here relaxing, enjoying the view. Look at this view. Look at this view out here. This is beautiful out here. And there's a lady walking the dogs here. And Ann's up there walking around this Timberneck house. Checking it out. Uh -oh. We're not allowed to go inside. Is she going to go in there? Uh, I 
right, she's getting ready to go in there. It's under re restoration. Don't do it, Ann. I'm going back to my beautiful view. <laughs> oh yeah, enjoying this, enjoying it. So. Oh man. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna just hang out here for a while. The timber in that house. They're restoring it. Back to the, trying to get it as close as they can to the original. They're actually looking all over the world for the original furniture. They found a lot of it. And so once they restore the house itself, then they'll be replacing the original furniture that was in it. Yeah. It's really nice. This is something that has all of the Indian names on it and where they are all located at. Chesapeake oh, wow. was an Indian name. Chesapeake, Nansaman, the North Tribe. Is that Rebecca? It's concrete, but it's made with oysters shells all in it. It's really some type of bear, but it's really nice. I'd like to have one of those. That's pretty cool. Concrete and oyster shell all the way through it, embedded in it. Wow. Where are we at? I like that. Uh, we are at Machi Kamoko. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I don't know. How do you say it? Machi Kamoko? Who knows? Machi Kamoko. There you go. <laughs> this is my rocket stove fire and the way I do it is uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it. it it makes a real good roaring fire and I'm not an outdoorsman I'm, this is not bushcraft <laughs> so here we go let's see what happens I'm going to start with my secret weapon Duraflame yes this is not bushcraft Stack these logs up here. Okay. I'm have a, I'm gonna have a kind of like a chimney effect here. I'll show you here in a minute. How I'll do it. And it usually works pretty good. Of course, see what happens. Now that I'm trying to videotape it, we'll see if it works the way I usually do it. Okay, so yeah. So basically I just stack them up like that. And I usually get a good roaring fire it just comes right up through the middle there of course it's going to take a few minutes so i'll be back in a minute i'm just gonna let, let it burn when it starts roaring and we'll come back about two minutes in and it's starting to work okay so you got all them flames coming right through the middle and it's starting to crack crackling fire there it goes there it goes it's been about two Two or three minutes now there we go oh there we go did you hear that oh yeah oh yeah baby now that's a fire it's an inferno that's what it is wow ah, it never lets me down you see that i'm an outdoorsman All right, so that's how you start a camping with Jeff and Ann 
rocket stove campfire. All right, me and Ann are going to sit back and enjoy this fire. Y'all take care. Oh, good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, October 6th. And uh, there's Ann. Good morning. And here's our my breakfast. And I can't wait to eat this omelet. And we're, we got the church going. And uh, we're just looking forward to a great day. We're getting ready to go down to the uh, boat slips. It's fishing down there. And we're going to ride our bike a little bit. So stay tuned for further adventures with Camping with Jeff and Ann. There's Jeff looking at God's beauty everywhere. Hmm. Yes. We're going to be down here fishing in just a few minutes. Yeah, <laughs> the fish are jumping out there. Just waiting for us. Just waiting for us. <laughs> a big fish just jumped. Hmm. I'm going to have to go get my pole, y'all. Oh, you had a crab? Yeah. Oh, Ann had a crab. Oh my goodness, he took your plastic worm. <laughs> well, I guess we got to rehook. There's a crab. He was pretty too, he's blue. A blue crab, wow. All right, let's get this done. I knew I had a white It was a crab. Here we go, baby. Oh yeah. Shish kebabs with Jeff and Ann. Got another plate over there. Another plate getting ready to come out here. Oh yeah. Stay tuned. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Chop some of this wood up. Ran out of charcoal. Watch your fingers. <laughs> I ran out of charcoal, so. I gotta get me some wood to cook this steak on our little notebook grill over there. So. Oh! This is this is bushcraft with Jeff and Ann. I guess I gotta go ahead and pick up all these little slivers. Thumb. <laughs> I almost chopped my thumb off. It's still there. It's still there. Can't you throw that whole thing in there? I don't know. It's pretty small. <laughs> I'm done. looking pretty good I can taste that steak now oh yeah we got a big old steak on here we got NASCAR on inside we're flipping between NASCAR and uh, football so we're out here and we got the best of both worlds we're camping glamping and we're making some food. 
stay tuned. The steak is done. <laughs> yes, it worked out just great with Ann's help. Just a little bit. Oh, baby, baby, this <laughs> is going to be good. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.